everyone, welcome. Uh, Ramey here, and today what I'm gonna talk about is, you know, I get this question all the time from my students. They run into this problem where they send me their web page, but none of their images work. They just don't work. The images aren't there when they send me their web page, and they can't figure out why. Um, this is a very common problem when someone is first starting web design. They're using a software like Dreamweaver, and they're still trying to figure everything out. Um, they run into this issue and they can't figure out what the problem is. It's a very simple fix. So let me show you. I'm going to first replicate the problem. So watch what I'm doing. I'm going to replicate the problem and then I'm going to show you how to fix it. All right. So I have the, up on the screen here, you can see I have my web page. I have no images right now. I'm going to add an image. I'm using Dreamweaver. I'm going to go to insert image and I'm going to find an image. I'm going to pick the image. This is the image from my eSports gaming club that we have on my campus. I'm the advisor for it. So this is our, our logo. So we have this cool image, right? Um, got an image and I'm ready to save it. I have this already saved on my desktop. I'm just going to click save. Now let's take a look at my website. My web page. I can see my image is working perfectly, right? I've got my image, everything looks good, it's working. And you know what, I'm gonna send it to my instructor, I'm gonna send it to someone. Now, I'm not gonna really send it via email, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it in another folder called test. So I've now moved my web page, which is working with my image, right? So you can see it's working, right? And that, but I've moved it to this new folder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open, I had to close it and I'm gonna reopen it up. And look what we see. I got the problem. Image is missing. Can't see my images now. What's going on? Why does this happen? And how do you fix this? So what happened is a web page, the, the image is not really in the web page. What's happening is the web page is calling the image. It's pulling the image from wherever you had it and trying to read it and interpret it. So what's happening is when you send just a web page to someone, but you didn't send them the image files, the images aren't gonna show up. And in addition to that, it needs to be in the exact same file structure. So for example, if I were to take my index file and put it right back on my desktop and open this up, oh, image works again. Why? Because I've re, I, it's the same file structure. So let me show you what that looks like in Dreamweaver. So I'll go to split code just so you can kind of see what's happening. So if I click on my image down, you can look at my code. It's highlighted down here. The directory is thumbnail underscore. So that's just simply my, the name of my image. As soon as I move my image, we've got this saved right here on the desktop. But if I were to move my file, like if I move my image into test, broken. What I need to do is I need to actually say the name of the folder and the image pop backs up, pops back up. So usually what I recommend to my students to do, I tell them put every single thing in a folder that you're using, then make your website. But now that everything's in the folder, if I were to recreate this website, and send the entire folder to my client, guess what? They'll be able to open up everything. I have to also send the image files and they have to stay in the same directory. So I usually just start with this. For example, let me just create a whole new page. Insert my image, uh, I gotta save it first. First rule, always save. And this will be test. Where is our folder test? Here we go. I'll call this new site.html. All right, I'm gonna insert my image and my image is in my folder called test, right? Okay, I'll save it everything's working look watch what will happen if i want to send this to someone i have to make sure i send both of these together so for example i'll open it up 
image is broken. If I take the image and put it on my desktop, image will work. You just have to keep the files together. That's it. That's why it's happening. That's what's happening. So the easiest way to do it is just as you're learning, when you're first starting out, create a folder, make sure everything's in that folder. When you're going to send your file to someone, compress the folder and send the whole entire thing or put it in the cloud and let them download everything. And hopefully they understand that it all needs to stay in the same directory. But a very common problem, um, it happens to everyone. It's ha it happened to me a million times when I was first learning to do this. Um, so just make sure that you're paying attention to that, but that's why your images are not working. Thank you.